Good afternoon, Your Excellency. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Some days in this office might have seemed longer than others for President Paula May Weeks. TNT's first female president demits office with a complicated legacy, one she believes will be best judged by history as opposed to anybody. From inception, there were questions. President Weeks had opted to stay at her private residence as opposed to the president's house. It has cost taxpayers nothing extra to have me live at home. Her reason to stay at her home because of her mother's health is well established. But President Weeks tells me reports of taxpayers upkeeping her personal home are incorrect. I maintained my home on my own dime. I remember there was a time when there was an article in the paper about whether or not the state paid for my housekeeper and my gardener. No, they did not. So I have foot the bill for every single thing in my house. She will be replaced by the woman who acted for her when she was absent, former Senate President Christine Kangaloo. For President Weeks, this is another moment of inspiration. I think uh, the two female presidents back to back certainly will place a stamp on Trinidad and Tobago. And in all fields of endeavor, young women will no longer be considering whether male or female has anything to do with their aspirations and their eventual careers, professions, and lives. If I had to ask you what is your last public message to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, what would that be? My last public message, it was an honor and a pleasure to serve you. And serve you, I did, to the best of my ability. President Paula May Weeks told us it is her last and greatest work of public service, filled with highs and lows. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News.